Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. It's very easy for us to allow things that happen to us in our past, in our life, um, sort of major events and even minor ones, to become who we are in the future. The way our subconscious mind works is it's always constantly trying to find programs or um, ways of getting us to behave to get us what we want and to take us away from what we don't want. So if a situation arises that causes us to stress or hurt or anger or upset in any way and our subconscious feels that it's detrimental to our survival, then it's going to create thought patterns to help to ensure that we don't ever experience that again. Unfortunately, I think that our, well actually fortunately, but unfortunately in this scenario, I think that we're designed to ensure that we move towards a conscious, more self-aware state. So if we allow our subconscious to create these thought patterns and behaviours and everything else to ensure that whatever it is we're trying to avoid doesn't happen, the way that it, it the way that they are created almost ensures that it does happen. Um, it's the same as you create what you fear. So for instance, let's say that I failed in a business and my subconscious makes sense of that event by saying that I was not clever enough, um, didn't have enough knowledge, wasn't confident enough, that I was lacking in some way. That would definitely ensure I didn't go into business and try again. Well, not definitely, but in this scenario, it most likely ensure that I didn't go into business again and most likely would ensure that I, I, I didn't, you know, experience the failure. But let's just say that that thought pattern then creates um, self-doubt and lack of belief in myself, which it would do for anyone. And that is then compounded by other things in life. Whatever I tended to then try next, I would have a deep sense of doubt, of insecurity in who I was and what I was capable of. And that would ensure that whatever I, I went into, whatever I tried next, would have less of a chance of succeeding. So, and those thought patterns, the self-doubt, the um, uncertainty of self and all of that, are what is created by the subconscious to ensure that you don't repeat the things in the past. But as I've been explaining, those thought patterns and that way of believing, all it does is ensure that what you fear, what you've been thinking, is what you create in the future. And that's why it's really imperative to understand that what has happened in the past is not who you are. All it is is something you've experienced. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person, that there's something deficient in you, that you cannot achieve something. It simply means as it's, it's an experience. And it's not always easy to do it on your own, but the way that I've found to move past things like that is to try and find what you have gained from the situation. So, I mean, if you've ever listened to any of my podcasts or YouTube channels or any of the things that I've done, or even read my blogs, you'll realise that I haven't exactly had a smooth life. And I've had numerous relationship <laughs> disasters, <laughs> as well as all sorts of changes and moves from one country to another and things not always going quite as they should. But what I've found is that in each and every single one of those scenarios is I can find the good or find something that I learn that makes my life richer and more wonderful from the experience that I've had. So when you have something in life that causes you upset and you can feel your mind spinning on self-doubt and um, lack of confidence and, you know, uncertainty as to whether you are capable of doing what you wish to be able to be doing. Just remember that that isn't really the truth of who you are. Those thoughts are simply there and created by your subconscious to try and prevent you from doing something it fears will cause you damage in the future. They aren't the truth. And I can't, I cannot say that enough. They really are not the truth. Instead, take some time to have a look at whatever it is that's upset you in the past and try and rewrite it by finding what is beneficial to you in that situation. So for instance, and I've spoken about this many times, um, I was married and we got divorced, God, many years ago now, when my kids were very young. And at the time it was incredibly traumatic and it was really upsetting and all sorts of other things. But I would never have set off on this course in my life, learning about coaching and consciousness and self-awareness and all of those things, if it hadn't have been for that particular relationship. That was the turning point for me. 
And for that, I will always be incredibly grateful. And I cannot look back on that relationship with anger and hurt and resentment anymore because where I am right now is purely because of what I went through. So it doesn't mean, so it no longer has the power over me that it might have done if I'd held on to the belief that it was a disastrous relationship, that it um, that I was lacking in some way that I couldn't make it work. And if I had held on to those beliefs, I most likely wouldn't have a chance to have a wonderful, loving, positive relationship in the future. So it's been a little bit muddled. <laughs> There's a lot of depth to what I'm sharing today and I'm kind of scratching the surface and I hope I've given you enough information so that it makes sense and doesn't just completely confuse you. Um, if you want to understand or learn more about my coaching or my online courses then the link to that will be in the show notes below um, along with anything else that I've spoken about in this episode. I will see you again next week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.